Hi there guys, welcome to Seasick Pirate Studios. My name is Curtis and welcome to my channel. For our first episode here at Seasick Pirate Studios, I wanted to do something special. I remember the first ever miniatures I ever painted, 3rd edition Blood Angels Space Marines. Looking back through the old Codex supplement it made me think how the hobby has changed since I first started. Like how much Marines have changed and how much bigger the Citadel paint range has become. So I thought why not take something new and take it back in time. In this video I'll be painting primary Space Marines in a 3rd edition Blood Angel colour scheme. So grab your paints, grab your brushes and let's get started. Okay, here we have our primary Space Marine. As you can see, I've sprayed him with Corax White Spray from Citadel. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be base coating him with Evil Sun Scarlet. Now, back in the day, this used to be the old blood red. So, we're going to get some Evil Sun Scarlet. We're going to pop it onto our palette. We're going to get a touch of water. Just water that down nicely. And you want to get a nice fine point on your brush not too much on there as well and what we're going to do is we're going to pick out all the armor panels and start painting them red so we'll start over here with the back of the leg so you just want to pop the red on there now as you can see this is going on quite nicely but what you'll find with a white undercoat is that sometimes you want to put a couple of layers of paint on because they can come out quite translucent so we're going to be covering our Space Marine. With Evil Sun Scarlet. Okay, so after two coats of Evil Sun Scarlet, the red is on there nice and solid. So that gives us a good foundation to work upon. So now what we're going to be doing is blacking in all of the trims around the shoulder pads, the bolter, the chain sword, the vents on the back of the power pack and all these little bits in between the armor just here. So what we wanna do is get some Abaddon black onto our palette. Water that down just a bit. Make sure you've got a nice point on your brush and then you just want to go over all of these white parts and just cover them up with black. Now you just want to be careful that you don't catch any of the red arm panels because black on top of red is a very difficult colour to tidy up. But if you do get any on the, uh, any on the armour, not to worry, you can always just do a few thin coats, maybe two or three thin coats, and that should cover it up nicely. So you just want to go over the bolter. You want to go along these parts of the shoulder pad. Just use the side of your brush just to sweep down those lines. And again, just like what we uh, what we did with the red, you might want to give it a couple of coats on top of a white undercoat just to get some decent coverage. So we're also going to be doing the holster. For the bolt gun we're going to be doing the vents all over the back of the power pack and these vents just here okay so after a couple of thin coats of abaddon black all of our metal parts and parts that need to be black have been painted so we're going to be focusing on uh, shading the armor now 
uh, and we're also going to be giving it a highlight as well. So we will be using Agrax Earth Shade to wash into the recesses and then we're going to be using Wild Rider Red to highlight all the raised edges. So get some Agrax Earth Shade on your brush. Now I'm using a fine detail brush here because what you want to do is just drop it into the recesses. So get a fair amount on your palette. You want a nice point on your brush. And then what you want to do is just pick out all of the lines in the armor. And remember any mistakes that you do make here, you can always go back with Evil Sun Scarlet and just tidy everything up. Okay, so after washing with Agro Surf Shade, you can see we've got a lot of definition on the armor. But to really make it pop, we need to add the highlight. So the highlight of Wild Rider Red, we're just gonna give our Wild Rider Red a good shake. Gonna pop some onto our palette. Now again, you'll need a fine detail brush for this part. As we're only putting this paint on the edges of the top parts of the armor panels. So, what we're gonna be doing, is just get a good point on our brush. Just getting off on there for a decent highlight. And what you want to do is just get your brush, drag that across the edges of the armor, just like that. And we want to find a nice line on there as well. So you're going to do this over all of the armor parts. So again, down here. Around all those nice parts. Now you don't want your lines to be too thick, as you can see I've gone on a little bit harsh there, but hopefully that should dry and blend in quite nicely. Okay, so after our highlight, you can see the armour is standing out really nicely now. And that's the armour almost complete. The only thing we need to do now is the chest eagle in the middle, and we need to paint the helmet the same colour as well. So for this, I'm going to use a base of Averland Sunset. So over white, this is a great foundation to paint any yellow colour on top of. So we're going to get our Overland Sunset, give it a good shake. Going to get some onto our palette. And we're going to water it down a little bit just so we can get a smooth application. Okay, and then what we're going to do Let's just pop that onto the chest eagle there. And what we're going to be doing with this colour as well is painting our helmet the same colour. Okay, so now we've got the Avaland Sunset base down on our chest eagle and helmet. What we're going to be doing now is shading them. So just like how we did with the armour earlier on, with the helmet, we're just going to be dropping uh, the contrast into the recesses of the helmet. So everything around the eye slots and uh, around the coils on the side and along the plume at the top. And with the chest eagle, we're going to be painting it all over so it sits in all those nice feathered details. Then we're going to be tidying up with some Avaland Sunset. 
And then we're going to be applying a highlight of the Uriel Yellow. And then on the very tips of the wings and the very edges of the helmet, we're going to be doing White Scar and that should finish our yellow off really nicely. So let's get our contrast snake bite lever, give it a good shake. You want to get some on your palette. Just make sure you have some on your brush. And what we're going to be doing with the wings is just painting that in all over, just spread it across. Make sure you have no pooling because it'll really define one area and not define other areas. So you just want to paint that all over, just watch for pooling again. Make sure you've got that all over the wings, just like that. So we've just gone over the top again with a bit more Avaland Sunset just to uh, tidy up those lines. And now we're going to go on with our highlight of Uriel Yellow. So what you want to do is give Uriel Yellow a good shake. Just get a bit on your brush. It's a very bright colour this one. Just get a nice point on your brush. Now what you want to do Okay, now for the helmet, what we want to do, just get the tiniest bit on your brush. And what you want to do, just like all the armor plates, you just want to go over all of the edges, just to give it a nice bit of stand out. So now we've painted our highlights of your yellow. I also took the time to black in all the parts of the armor that need to be black. And to finish off the helmet now, apart from the eyes, what we're going to be doing is a very fine highlight of white scar. So give your white scar a good shake. Take a bit out, pop it on your palette. Just the tiniest bit will do because we don't need a lot here. Just move those out of the way. A touch of water. Now we just want the tiniest little bit on our brush. And what we're gonna do is just touch the very edges. Okay, so after that highlight of white scar on the edges, we're now going to be focusing on the eyes and that will be our helmet complete. So we're going to go on with Caliban Green as a base. Then we're going to do an under highlight of Warboss Green. 
and then we're going to put a dot of white scar just in the corner of the lenses just to make it look like it's going to have a bit of a shine. So we're going to get some Caliban Green on our palette, just give that a good shake. Now you only need a tiny bit for this and you will need your fine detail brush. So water that down just a little bit. Get rid of the excess on our brush. And then what we want to do So you will find yourself needing a couple of coats because the yellow is quite bright and the paint can be quite translucent. So just okay for the next step on the eyes we're going to do that under highlight of Warboss Green. So we just want to get a tiny bit of Warboss Green on the end of our brush. I've watered this down as well, just to get a nice flow on it. And what we want to do is just pick out the bottom part of the lens. And just follow the line round. So, just drop it in there like that. Okay, so for the last part on the eyes, what we want to do is just have a dot of white scar in the corner. So you need a good point on your brush, just a tiny little bit on there. Just get rid of any excess you've got on there because you only need the smallest amount. And what you want to do is just pop a dot in the corner. There we go, just like that. Now what you can do to finish off the helmet, uh, especially the eyes, uh, you can get some Technical Hard Coat Gloss Varnish and just paint that over the lens. This will give it a shine and make it look really cool. Okay, so with the helmet complete, we're gonna pop that to one side and we're gonna focus on the rest of our marine. So what we're going to be doing now is focusing on the metals. So the bolt gun, the chainsaw, all of the vents on the back of the power pack, uh, all these little exhausts here as well. And we're going to be base coating those with lead belcher. We're then going to be giving them a wash with Null Oil. We're then going to be dry brushing them with lead belcher. And then we're going to give them a final highlight, just, just an edge highlight with Stormhost Silver. So give your lead belcher a good shake. And what you want to do is just paint the chainsaw. You want to paint the bolt gun. And all of these parts on the back of the power pack. Okay, so after two thin coats of lead belcher, what we're going to be doing is giving our metal areas a wash with Null Oil. So, give that a good shake. What we're going to do is load up your brush. Pop a little bit on your back there. Now, what you're looking for is just a general cover 
all over the area. So if we look at the bolt gun just here, what you want to do is just paint the Norn oil on and let that sit in the recesses. Now, just like when we did the chest eagle earlier, you don't want it to start pulling in places where you don't want it to be. So just nice and controlled, just push that wash into the areas where you want it. And we're going to be doing that all over the chainsaw. And these vents at the back. Okay, so now that our normal oil has dried, what we're going to be doing next is just giving all of our metal areas a dry brush with some lead belcher. So get your dry brush, and then you want to get a little bit on your brush, and what you want to do is scrub all of that off with a piece of kitchen roll. And any excess that's left on, we just want to brush over the top of the metal area, catching all of those raised edges. Okay, and for the last part, what we're going to be doing with our metals is just giving them an edge highlight with Stormhose Silver. Now, you only want to do a tiny highlight here, just on those raised edges. So make sure you give your Stormhose Silver a good shake. Just pop some of that on your palette. Now again, you don't need to water this down because you don't want to split the pigment. But make sure you only have a tiny bit on the end of your brush. And then what you want to do just pick out those raised edges. Okay, so now that our metals are complete, what we want to be doing now is highlighting all the black areas. So we're going to be using Eshing Grey to do this. And what you want to do is just get a little bit on your palette. You want a nice point on the end of your brush. And you only need a tiny little bit on the, uh, on the end of your brush. But what you're looking to do is all the black areas. So like in between the armour just here, what you want to do those raised edges is just drag your brush across. Just put a highlight on that black. There we go. And for the shoulder pads, again, you just want to do an edge highlight. Just trick that around the edge. Okay, now that all of our uh, black parts of the armour have been highlighted, we're going to be focusing next on the small details. So like the pouches on the belt, we've got some on the front on the back there as well. And we're also going to be looking at painting our purity seal. So for the pouches, we're going to be doing a base of Doomball Brown. Again, we might need a couple of coats of this just to cover up the white. Then we're going to give it a wash with Agrax Earthshade. And then we're going to be highlighting it with Scrag Brown. So, give your Doomball Brown a good shake. Just pop some onto your palette. You might just want to water this down just a little bit. Only a tiny bit though, just to get a nice consistency like that. And then what you want to do is just paint all of the pouches. Now just be careful not to clip any of the armour panels because this will show up on that nice red that we've painted. So what you want to do is just give it a couple of coats just so we can't see any of that undercoat through the paint. Okay, so now the Doomball Brown has dried on our pouches, we're going to give them a quick wash with Agrax Earthshade. So, give your Earthshade a good shake. <clears throat> Let's get some onto your palette. 
But again, like all washes, just watch for pooling and what you want to do is just to give the area a decent cover over. Okay, so now that the wash has dried all over the pouches, what we're going to be doing is giving them a highlight with Scrag Brown. So you get some Scrag Brown, give it a shake, pop a tiny bit on your palette. You want a good point on your brush here, because all we're looking to do is just edge highlight all of the pouches. So now the pouches are complete, we're going to be moving on to the Purity Seal. Then all we have to do is put the head on and base the model. So for our Purity Seal, we're going to be using Caliban Green for the wax. We're going to be using Morgast Bone for the parchment. And then we're going to give it an all over wash with Agrax Surf Shade. And then we're going to put Warboss Green on the seal. And then we're going to highlight flayed one flesh on the parchment. So, so there we are, we've put the head on and our marine is ready for battle. All we need to do now is base the miniature and he's ready to join his battle brothers to take out some Xenos filth. 